All right, buckle up. I'm going to walk you through how to set up a dynamic search campaign. Just a note, the actual setting to select dynamic search ads isn't until about the eighth step of going through this process. So don't get discouraged if um, you're not seeing it right away to set up a dynamic search ad because it's not until step eight. Uh, so just wanted to put that out there. Um, for this example, I'm going to walk you through Durham Warehouse. This is uh, our, our agency's in-house e-commerce brand. We have over 400,000 customers, over 10,000 products. Dynamic search ads are huge for our business uh, because there's so many products. And like I said earlier, it's hard to scale by just doing standard PPC ads. So uh, let's get started. All right, so you're just going to set up a create. You're going to create a campaign like you normally would um, in Google Ads. And in this instance, because it's an e-commerce business, we're going to do uh, sales. Um, you know, obviously, if you're a non-e-commerce business, just doing website traffic would suffice. But for this, we want to generate sales. Um, and as you see here, the conversion goals. Make sure that your Google Analytics 4, um, that can, you have the right conversion set up that are importing into Google Ads. So your Google Ads campaign can optimize for that. For here, the only thing that we want to optimize for is purchases. Uh, select the campaign type. So in this instance, we're going to do search because that's really what a dynamic ad is. It's a search ad. Um, I'm going to skip this, select the ways you'd like to reach your goal. I already have mentioned above that I'm trying to go for sales. And here we're going to go dynamic search um, 2023. All right. And so uh, I recorded a YouTube video about the different bidding mechanisms and what's best for your business. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of this YouTube video. Um, here you could see conversions. It's setting a target CPA of, of $33 for conversion value, uh, which a lot of times we do for e-commerce, set a re target return on ad spend, a target ROAS. Um, again, I want you to watch the YouTube video I recorded on this because it will tell you actually don't go so high on the target row as go a little bit lower. That's a little bit of a trick. Uh, so I'll just put that at 150 and we'll move forward. Obviously, if you're not running a shopping campaign, uh, you're not going to have a target row as. Okay. Um, when I'm setting up a campaign, I typically unselect include Google search partner and include Google display network. Um, the reason for that is because I think the data is just a little bit cleaner, typically see a little bit higher of return on ad spend when those are unselected. If I'm ever struggling on uh, hitting budget, I will select that. So in this instance, I'm just going to target the United States because it's an e-commerce business. Um, and you know, I know for a lot of you right now, this is pretty standard. So just bear with me as uh, I'm going through it because it's not until later in the process. All right. And actually, it's right here. So. This is the big thing for dyna dynamic search ads. You're going to go down to more settings um, and here you're going to see dynamic search ad settings and you're going to click on that. Get automatic search targeting and customize ad headlines based on your website. So you click on that and here you're going to choose the website. So in this instance, we're going to do uh, dermwarehouse.com. Okay, and right here when you are inputting the website, this is what's telling Google, take all of the content for Durham Warehouse and you know find relevant pages and serve ads based off of that. So that's why it's important to um, you know input the website there. So we're going to go next. All right, and here you'll see now that there are dynamic ad targets. Google uh, knows that this is a dynamic ad. So this is just ad group one. I'll just call this dynamic 2023. All right, and so here you'll see within dynamic, um, and this is a really cool part, that it's starting, based off of crawling the Durham Warehouse website, it's starting to recommend different categories. So you'll see, um, you know, uh, skincare um, for anti-aging, hyaluronic acid, skincare routine. Um, I typically don't go based off of categories, but it's something that you could do. This is just where it gets really cool because you could go specific web pages on your site. So uh, Glytone, that is a brand that we carry on our site and I believe we have 30 or 40 products for Glytone. Um, you can just have dynamic ads served based off of Glytone. Um, so hang tight here for one second and I'll give you an example.
All right, so now I'm on the um, Glytone page on the Derm Warehouse website. And what you can see is that for Glytone, we have a lot of products. Um, and uh, it would take a really long time to set up an advertisement for each individual product. So what you can do is you can grab the URL and I'm gonna do that here in a second and I'm then gonna go over um, to back to Google Ads. And so, uh, you know, create, it, it, you can use exact URLs or you could create rules um, and this is what I love doing, create rules to target a web page. And so if you just do uh, that the web page contains, you know, brands slash Glytone, at that point, Google is going to, Google Ads is going to pick up every Glytone page and they're going to serve dynamic ads. So this is a great way of um, segmenting dynamic search ads. You know, the other thing that you could do is all web pages, if you just want to target your entire website, um, great. You know, for Durham Warehouse, we've written a lot of blogs. And it's a lot of how to's on how to maintain your skincare in your 40s, your 50s. Um, I don't necessarily want uh, our advertisements served based off of content from the blog. So that's why you have to be strategic on selecting specific web pages. All right, moving on down. Um, so then you'll see here uh, the final URL, the headline, the display URL, those are all automatically generated by Google. Um, when it comes to the description, uh, give me one second, I'm just gonna go to the Glytone site and I'm gonna copy and paste some verbiage and I'll uh, show you what this looks like. All right, so um, like I mentioned there, it automatically pulls in the final URL, the headline and the display URL, those are all generated. All you have to do for description one and two is obviously input verbiage that is gonna make sense. So remember, this could serve uh, 30 different Glytone products. So I made the ad copy somewhat generic about um, Glytone, improve the tone of your skin with Glytone to its best and most useful form. I won't read the whole thing, but you can kind of see that there. Um, and this is what it looks like when you're just looking at it. It's a dynamically generated headline. So if someone is searching for Glytone Mild Gel Cleanser, what Google is gonna do is they're gonna put in the headline Glytone Mild Gel Cleanser, and they will see my description one and description two. With dynamic search ads, uh, you are able to use site links. So I definitely recommend using um, site links. You can use call out. So it's really like a PPC advertisement. The benefit obviously is it's just dynamically uh, generating that content, even image extensions, beautiful. You can get all of this set up. Um, you go to next, what's your average daily budget? Let's just for this example, say $100 a day. All right, and then your campaign is almost ready to publish. You just go through the final settings, and I'm not gonna go through each one because that would be more time consuming. And you click publish campaign, and voila, you have successfully launched a dynamic search campaign. Hopefully this video was helpful in showing you how to set up dynamic search campaigns. Uh, it's super simple to do, and it can really help um, your business scale and save time rather than setting up all of these campaigns manually. It's just faster and um, it can be great for your business. So hopefully you like this video. If you ever have any questions on Google Ads or anything Google related, you can contact me at themediacaptain.com. My name is Jason Parks.